seven seasons and 160 episodes later, and fans finally found out who was tormenting the girls. Now, this isn't a video on who the mysterious and twisted A really was. You'd have to watch the show for that. Here's a hint. You would have never seen it coming. But it's been a while since the show's wrapped up. Seven years. That's crazy. And it's time we talk about what happened to the cast once filming wrapped up. How many of them continued acting? Who branched out? And who retired? Let's find out. Shay Mitchell has kept herself busy. Emily Fields was one of the most endearing characters on the show. Fans loved and often sympathized with her. Off screen, however, Shay Mitchell knows what she wants and isn't afraid to go and get it. She's continued acting, but has branched out to work behind the lens, started a few businesses, and even achieved major milestones in her personal life too. One of her biggest acting credits since the show ended was as Peach Salinger in Netflix's You. Shay took a complete 180 because Peach was everything Emily wasn't. The role earned her critical acclaim. Everyone was thrilled to see the Canadian actress commanding a role outside of a teen thriller. And she delivered her best performance. Better than Pretty Little Liars? Uh, that's up to you to decide. Now, as celebrities go, they start a few brands while they're at their height of their fame. Call it a pretty little nest egg. Most celebrities, however, start clothing brands or makeup collaborations. What about Shay? She started a travel brand. Ease. That's not the most surprising thing about her company. Did you know that the luggage industry is incredibly saturated? Breaking into an apparently cutthroat industry as a startup is next to impossible. I never thought my dream to launch a travel brand would take me on a two year long journey around the world. It all started here in LA. Off the bat, I knew I didn't just want to phone this project in. The last thing I wanted to do was to just put my name on some other person's design. Hi. Day in and day out, building every aspect of base. Needless to say, there was a lot of second guessing along the way. I liked the way the logo turned out a lot. Yeah. Eventually though, I knew I had to leave the comfort of the LA office suites and get my hands dirty where the actual bags were being sourced and made. China. Shay literally like scoured China. We did. <laughs> like, we did. <laughs> Just because you show up somewhere doesn't automatically mean all the pieces fall into place. China felt like a maze of options I didn't understand. This is some sort of ball. This is the hub for basically all of Chinese based production for the last like several decades. You're gonna see like 10 blocks wide this way, 10 blocks deep that way. This is the like, original sourcing like origins of all fashion from Hong Kong going to China. I still felt completely overwhelmed. Oh, it's forever, dude. Like creating a line is like really, it's, like if you want it to be special and non-generic, all, right the, all the things that you love have a, spe a special touch. I think it's the difference between someone that's just gonna put the thing together like on a computer screen and say, okay, well, that looks pretty, and then someone that's physically putting like, uh, as you can see the streets here, do you see any This is called hands-on. This is like, called, I'm yeah. being real hands-on here. You're doing... My hands are touching all of these fabric samples. <laughs> so that's what that's telling you, okay? Get lost, find yourself, repeat. Thank you, Zay. Look at that. Ooh. That is so cute. This makeup case is everything. Shay's brand new Packing travel new. brand. Shay Mitchell. Yay! Travel mirror. Shay Mitchell just launched this personalized company based passport holder. My home girls. Shay Mitchell. And Lucy Hale was a familiar face long before Pretty Little Liars. While most of the leading cast members from Pretty Little Liars were starting out in television, Lucy Hale was the only cast member who'd been in mainstay on TV for a while. You might remember her from her support role on Drake and Josh and Wizards of Waverly Place. As such, Lucy's Aria Montgomery also became a fan favorite on the show with people rooting for her and Ezra throughout the series. As such, Lucy's Aria Montgomery also became a fan favorite on the show with people rooting for her and Ezra throughout the series. Also, many believe that she was the main character on the show. Her role in the opening credits and theme song sparked many fan theories about her connections to A. A and Arya, after all, did you think she was the mysterious character all along too? Since the show wrapped up, Lucy's appeared in a few films, most notably as the lead in the horror film Truth or Dare. The film was well received by critics who particularly praised Lucy's character. Everyone wanted to see more from her, and while Lucy did deliver, she said that she wanted to focus on a career elsewhere. Where? In music. Now Lucy's covered quite a few songs, if you haven't already be sure to check out her covers of Frozen's Let It Go 
and Rascal Flats, she's called. She's called music her first love and released her first studio album in 2014. She also lent her voice to Katie Keene. Right, she's been around the block. Yeah, so a lot of like uh, the Archie universe, these characters were created a long time ago and they it's very cool to see them um, uh, come to life in a modern age. But um, yeah, Katie Keene was part of the like Veronica Betty crowd, but like the lesser known. One of the um, one of the main characters, Jorge, it plays Katie's roommate, um, uh, does a lot of drag, and his drag character is named Ginger. Um, and we really showcase that world, and um, you know, some, a lot of times those characters and those those people they don't always get um, to be the forefront of a show. Okay, it's got a little jumbled, but we'll just. Katie Keene takes place in the future. That's all you need to know. That's all you yeah. need to know. And I saw you, congratulations on your Cosmo cover. Thank that you. Cool. Thank, it's very cool. Yeah, I, it's always funny. Um, this is, because I've done a couple of covers with him when I was younger, but every time I have a cover come out with him, my dad always assumes that like the best sex ever on the Cosmo cover is my article. So I have to explain every time, like, Dad, no, if you look to the left, like, she's, she does. You know, Katie, what's funny in the comics is Katie had a string of men, and uh, but she has her one, in the pilot we meet her high school sweetheart, his name's K.O., and um, you get to sort of, you know, the ups and downs of their relationship, but yes, there, Katie has fun, I'll just leave it at that, Katie has a lot of fun in the city. Now, why does the name sound familiar? Probably because it's the fashionista from the Archie comics many of us grew up reading. Lucy was cast in the lead role in 2019 after her character was introduced in the main series, Riverdale. The former Pretty Little Liars actress covered a few songs for the show's soundtrack and fans loved her for her versatility. Unfortunately, the show was cancelled after just 13 episodes and one season. That's one season. Lucy went back to the drawing board and teased the idea of releasing another album sometime soon. Torian Belisario is dedicated to making the world a better place. Torian Belisario is dedicated to making the world a better place. Spencer Hastings stole the show with her one-liners, eye rolls, and was arguably the voice of reason among the group of tormented teen girls. Torian delivered a performance of a lifetime and was honored for it with several nominations and awards, including a Teen Choice Award in 2012. Her next win came a few years later in 2020 for her leading role in the short film, Like Turtles, since she shows... Since the show wrapped up, Torian's been working primarily behind the lens, with only a few acting credits here and there. Most of her roles are now in short films. Speaking of which, we are here. The film also stars another familiar face, Patrick Adams, aka Michael Ross on Suits. On that note, did you know that the two are married? That's right, there's a funny story there too. Torian and Patrick started dating in 2009 when they met on the sets of Equivocation, but broke up a year later. To win her back, Patrick auditioned for a guest role in Pretty Little Liars, got cast as Hardy, and won Torian over again. A nice story that they get to tell their kids, Aurora and Elliot. Together with her husband, Torian's picked up directing, and the couple worked together on directing and producing several short films. They're also dedicated to making the world a better place, and have worked with several charities to raise funds and awareness, such as War Child. Torian is also known for her involvement with Together One Heart, an organization focused on empowering women and girls who have been victims of human trafficking. Both actors support the Innocent Project. Both actors support the Innocence Project, which works to exonerate wrongfully convicted individuals through DNA testing and to reform the criminal justice system to prevent future injustice. Their philanthropy keeps them busy. Ashley Benson's been a singer, actress, and dancer. Like Lucy, Ashley Benson has also... Like Lucy, Ashley Benson was also a familiar face long before she bagged the role of Hannah Marin on Pretty Little Liars. You might remember the actress as Abigail Devereaux from Days of Our Lives, the younger version. Obviously, she played that role from 2004 to 2007, when she was only 8 years old. She also starred in 13 Going on 30 and Bring It On. 
Through it all, Ashley was also a competitive dancer, having learned ballet, jazz, and tap when she was only three years old. She also started singing during her time on Pretty Little Liars and performed all of her own vocals for her smell. Where she starred opposite Cara Delevingne. Speaking of which, did you know that she dated the supermodel from 2018 to 2021? Oh, and on the topic of her love life, Ashley also dated her Pretty Little Liars love interest, Tyler Blackburn. Although the two never went public with their relationship, and Tyler only teased fans about their time together after they moved on. Fast forward to now, in, two, in 2024, and Ashley's pumped the brakes on her acting career. She did appear in a few music videos, including one of her then-boyfriends, g Easy, and for the group Hot Chell Raise Honestly. She got married in 2023 to Brandon Davis, grandson of the late billionaire Marvin Davis. The couple welcomed their first child together in 2024. This isn't to say that Ashley's hung up her acting hat for good though. She did have a few supporting roles in film and television after Pretty Little Liars ended. She starred in Birthday Cake, Private Property, Mob Island, and a whole lot of other films. She also starred in two episodes of Raven's World, which was a spin-off of Pretty Little Liars starring Blackburn's character. She reprised her role as Hannah Marin on the series. Sasha Peters has been on billboards since she was five. Besides the fact that she was only 13 when she banged Besides the fact that she was only 13 when she bagged the role of Allison Delargis When she bagged the role of Allison DeLawrence on Pretty Little Liars, did you know that she's South African? A lot of things about Sasha we didn't know before. Art imitates life, right? Jokes aside, Sasha is no stranger to the world of entertainment. Her parents moved from Johannesburg to Los Angeles when she was five years old. There, they focused on their careers as an acrobatic dance team and Sasha started modeling. She modeled for Macy's as a toddler and was the face of Supercuts. Literally, her face was all over billboards in the city. Before becoming Allison on Pretty Little Liars, Sasha had several supporting roles, such as those on Good Luck Chuck, House, and Family Affair. Her biggest on-screen credit since the show ended is 2018. Her biggest on-screen credit since the show ended in 2018, however, was on the 25th season of Dancing with the Stars, where she was paired up with Russian professional dancer Gleb Sevchenko. Sasha and Gleb were the fourth couple eliminated and finished 10th overall. Besides acting and dancing, did you also know that she sings? She released three singles, all before she got the role of Allison on Pretty Little Liars all pretty well received by critics. Could this mean she's thinking of returning to a career in music? Maybe, but not yet. For now, Sasha's focused on building her social media profile, where she currently has a combined 16 million followers across all of her platforms. She's also building her brand, Sasha in Good Taste. The brand includes a well-received cookbook for dinners and parties, plus a lifestyle website where Sasha shares her everyday living tips, cooking hacks, and parenting tips. That's right, in 2022, Sasha and her husband Hudson welcomed the couple's first child. Since then, she's been focused on being a stay-at-home mom. Her primary work these days is social media content creation and work on her website. Sasha, along with her husband, is also focused on community building. Her platform doubles as a motivational site for young mothers and people of faith, where she shares her journey. She's also an advocate for mental and physical health during her season on Dancing with the Stars, Sasha revealed that she suffers from polycystic ovarian syndrome and now uses her platform to talk about the condition, its impact on lives, and how she navi and how she's navigating life through it all. Through it all.